and here we are again in car dealership tycoon and as you can see i have been grinding a little bit and i almost have six million dollars uh, i think that was a little bit more than i had before at like four hundred thousand and if you see right over here i also earned this car and that's basically how i got all my money was just trying to grind for this and there's this brand new update over here where you can customize cars for people and they'll give you money but it's not really worth it unless you get the guys who want to spend a whole bunch of money on cars. As the more expensive the car is, the more money you make from it. And as you can see here, I got all 6,000 trophies and earned all four of these cars. And I tried these other two cars, so now I'm going to try these two and see if they're any better than the F50 that I have. So we have this police Aston Martin, which you can turn on the lights, but I don't think it has any sound for the lights. And the acceleration on this isn't great, and the top speed also isn't that good. As you can see, only reaching 170, which my F50 reaches 218, so this is better to use. And also to grind stars, I bought this car, which has a really fast acceleration since it's electric. And this is currently the fastest car I have for drag strip because of how fast acceleration is, but the top speed of it isn't great. And now onto the last car, we have this Cadillac, which it has a slower acceleration, but this is the highest top speed car that I have. And also it looks really cool. And it's just barely better than the F50. Uh, I'm not sure about the acceleration though. But for any new events that come out, I'm probably going to be using this until I get a better car. And now I'm going to head back home and upgrade some dealerships with this money that I grinded. And I've already finished this dealership, so I don't need to upgrade this anymore. And I'm not actually sure if getting these other dealerships maxed would give me more money. Because I've seen that I could complete these as well. But I think I'm going to start off with just the police dealership, and then I'll head back to these before I do this. And here we are. Uh, it's pretty sad. And... Oh, wait. There's two of them. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. But let's go and upgrade this until I have no more money. And there we go, we have fully maxed out this entire dealership. Uh, I don't really think this is a dealership, but we won't worry about that. And I have all my cars out. Uh, I actually have too many cars to fit in here. Uh, I'm over by one, but the one that I'm missing is a starter car, which I don't really care about. And if you look at the bottom, I'm missing 2%, but I think that 2% is what's up here. As you can see, you can buy a helicopter for 8 million, which I don't have that yet, so I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I think I'm going to go and upgrade the other two dealerships and see how much money I have after that. And there we go, one more dealership down and one more to go. I'm not sure if I'll have enough money for it though. And there we go, we have finished every beginner dealership. So looking in here, you can see that all three are 100% completed. And I think I'm going to switch away from this dealership because I think it kind of looks ugly. Uh, since I just got this one, I'll switch to this one. Why? You were just here. And now they just won't even spawn. Seems like I made all the customers run away. Just trying to get this gold man. I'm probably doing something wrong, but this is the color of the dealership I went with is these two different grays. Just imagine a gold guy walks in here and goes up here and asks for a car that's like a few million dollars. And then I give him it and then he gives me five stars and then I make $70,000. And then he walks out and I would have made more money driving around. Why did I do this? So here is the finished dealership. This is a max dealership right here. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Uh, I'm going to go grind some more money. Not for this, obviously, because I already have it here. Oh, and now the customers want to come back. Obviously, it's not the one I want. Oh, now they're flooding in. Maybe I'll actually get him now. No, the game hates me. They're not going to give me him. Oh, great. Who would have guessed 
The blue shirt guy. So like I just told you, I'm not selling any cars to you. While I'm waiting for him to come, uh, you can see that I changed my F50 color a little bit. Uh, I didn't even mean for it to match this, but it actually does, and it looks pretty nice. Is that who I think it is? Oh, that took way too long. It's not even worth it for me. Okay, now I need to find the most expensive car in this range. Uh, sorry, that's probably not even a car. That's 7 million. I'll just choose this one. There you go. $69,600. Exactly what I said before. <sighs> And let me know down in the comments if there's anything else for me to really do in this game. It feels like I've done everything except wait for the new updates and record those, which those don't come out too often. So it seems like I've basically beat this game except for that one dealership, which I'll get in the next video. And just to show you, I completed all the tasks here. So I don't need to do any of those for trophies, even though I already have everything here. And I don't think getting any more trophies is worth it. Oh, yeah, I could also buy a house. I don't know what the use in this is. Uh, I guess I can... I guess we could try this out. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't know if this makes me any money, but I have a house now. That's a pretty weird bathroom. No curtains, that's good. And looking at everything else, it doesn't seem like I need really anything other than just buying cars, but I already have some pretty good ones. But I could work towards this Venom F5. And actually, because I haven't done any of these races yet, I'm gonna check them out to see how good they are. But since they don't give as much money as just driving around or whatever uh, I won't be doing these so first off we have this dirt track seems kind of basic doesn't really have that good of a flow either oh so here you can pick three different races uh I don't know how this works these checkpoints are pretty confusing as well And there we go, uh, seven trophies and $6,000. So we did city before, and now I'm gonna check out the highway. There we go, that race is also pretty basic. And for the last race, we have drag strip, which I already seen, but I'll still do it just cause. And that race is really short. And we have drag race over here as well, which I've already done all these, so I'm not gonna do them again. Let's move on to the circuit race. Yeah, all these races are just really basic. This is probably like the worst you could make a circuit race in my opinion. Now we're going to do mountain. It is good though that they have a pretty decent amount of races in this game though. But, uh, oh wait, I did take the right way, what? Did I? This is hard, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. That one was actually all right, but the, the checkpoints didn't really make sense. I wonder what would have happened if I went onto the dirt part of the race instead, if there was even a checkpoint there. Moving on to the next one, we have Dune. I'm just going to choose one lap because last time it kind of took too long in the circuit race. Why are they on top of me? And these other people are choosing more laps, so this is going to be pretty painful. Okay, we got two laps. That's not too bad. That race is pretty cool, but it just doesn't seem like these cars actually fit into this race. And thinking about my other cars, it just wouldn't work. Maybe there are cars that do work with this race, but driving with this one especially, it just doesn't make sense. And the last race we have is Drift. Uh, I don't know if it's actually a race or if you just drift around. Yeah, it seems like you drift. And I think that's every race. I've already done the season five race and that's probably the best, most promising race currently. And it's a limited one. So that's kind of sad. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other tips for this game and I'll see you in the next video.